Well, I bet y'all didn't know Texas has a statewide celebration of babies coming up. Yeah, it's called Baby Day. Uh, this is the third year it's happening. There's a full week of free programs like baby yoga, music classes, breathing exercises, and supportive community chats, which will be streaming entirely online. So this runs February 7th through 13th, and the concept is to offer resources for new parents and learn how to make a positive impact on your child's early growth and bonding years. Y'all, I cannot imagine a more trying experience through this pandemic than being a new or an expecting mom. Danica McAdam had her son just as life was shutting down. She joins me from San Diego this morning. Uh, Danica, wow, what a whirlwind. Uh, describe what it felt like to have your first baby at the start of a pandemic. <laughs> Hi, Sonia. Thanks so much for having me. You know, it was a surreal experience to say the least. At one point, we were really worried that my husband wouldn't even be allowed to be with me in the delivery room, but thankfully he was. My son was born March 23rd, and that happened to be the exact same day that California's federal buildings all shut down. So we were pretty terrified at the time. Now, you couldn't have people over to see the baby or to see you. Um, your mom mm -hmm. had also passed away, which meant that you didn't really have any help. So that can all really take mm -hmm. a toll on your mental health. Yes, it was um, a struggle to say the least. So my mom passed away three years ago this week from a very sudden heart attack. And just knowing that I would never have her there by the time we wanted to have kids and have her help me raise the children, well, that was already, you know, it already sounded impossible. Um, but then I never imagined that that struggle would be coupled with a pandemic. So not only was she not around, but my mother-in-law couldn't be here. We canceled their flights from Denver. They were all supposed to come out. My dad was supposed to come down from Los Angeles, but we couldn't risk anyone getting sick. So we really lost all of that support. And it was just my husband and me. He's a Superman of our family, but, um, it was definitely a struggle for the first several months that after Landon was born. So we talked about a few things on the phone that sort of helped you. They don't replace people, but they did make life a little bit easier for you um, in terms of your health. Yes, they sure did. I had some wonderful gifts sent to me and it really made a difference exactly for my mental and my emotional health. I want to start with this meditation pillow over here. This is by Armored Down. Um, this is a military grade one. These are kind of hardcore, very durable. It's made by a veteran. And Sonia, you know a lot more about meditation pillows probably than I did before I became a mom. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you want to sit on those. They elevate your hips, your knees fall to the floor. That opens up some space in um, the hip flexor area. And it's really nice for like your low back and the external rotation of your hips. I know I'm getting a little nerdy here, but yeah, those are great. <laughs> I do. I, I did enjoy using it. It's just that finding the time to give yourself that self care was so important because it reduces that anxiety and helps um, battle depression. If that's something that you're falling into with postpartum. Um, another gift that was given to us, which is something you really can't live without in a pandemic was hand sanitizer. Uh, this particular line is by Earth Baby and they make um, several different products, but their hand sanitizer is my personal favorite just because it was so moisturizing and it's safe to use on my son's hands. So I had this with me everywhere, my diaper bag, my purse, to and from doctor's appointments. Um, they also have a bath line that my husband and I ended up loving just because bath time was a little scary for us in the beginning. And again, we didn't have any help. So just knowing that um, these particular ingredients are all organic and plant-based, it just made us feel better. It gave us a little bit of peace of mind knowing that our son Landon was you know, being bathed in, in products that we trusted. And Danica, tell me about, um, I, I know I haven't been to any like baby showers in person, but I'm really interested in this sleep bag and the sound machine, because that helps a mom's peace of mind and mental health too. Oh yeah, so this is probably one of my favorite gifts. This is by Kite Baby. These sleep bags, um, they prevent SIDS. So you're not allowed to have blankets or toys inside a bassinet or a crib. So you, instead you have to wrap them in a sleep bag. And our son in particular was super fussy in the beginning. And once we got him in one of these sleep bags, he slept so well. My husband and I were surprised at how well he slept through the night. And 
they offer different temperature settings as well, depending on what climate you live in. The other um, gift you mentioned was the sound machine. You can't live without these if you're a new mom. This one I like because it's portable. This is called electro fan. You can throw this in your car, um, in your bag, just because of the size of it. And your baby needs this to help sleep um, because when they're in your tummy, it's as loud as a vacuum. So when they come out, they're not going to sleep for nothing. So the sound machine became a really critical part of our lives and gave us um, a lot, a lot, it allowed us to sleep a lot. <laughs> okay, and we know sleep is very important. Danica, thank you so much for your time this morning. My pleasure.